Another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Quite often when we work in Illustrator, we work with fills and strokes. In this video, I want to introduce the concept of outlining a stroke and maybe talk a little bit about why you might want to do that at times. So what I have over here is a simple circle that has a stroke applied to it. And if I come over here to my properties panel, you can see that it's filled with red and has a stroke of 28 points. Also, I want to point out that that stroke is aligned centered. I could also align that to the inside of that circle or that path or the outside of that path. But I just have it aligned centered here. Sometimes I'll want to turn that stroke into an actual shape. And to do that, I would select it first and then go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. And what has happened is it looked at the outside of that stroke and the inside of that stroke and it turned it into a shape. So let's go to outline mode to see that. Now what you see is I have actually three circles here. One, two, three. The outside circle is the outside edge of the black, what used to be a stroke. The inside circle is what used to be the inside of that stroke. And then the circle here in the middle is actually the original path of that red circle. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to undo. Now I'm back to what was just original circle with a stroke of black that's 28 points. And do you remember when I said that I had it aligned center? That's the reason I ended up with those three separate circles. So let's align it to the outside. Okay, so now when I apply this 28 point stroke, it looks at the edge of my original circle and puts a stroke 28 points in thickness on the outside of it. So now let's go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. And now when I come out here, it looks like I have two circles. One was that original, and there's the outside here. So that's what outline in a stroke is. I'm trying to think of a circumstance that I can show you that why I would want to do this. Well, let's say that I've designed this logo here. And let's say the customers approved it and I need to finalize this artwork and send it for use for many different uses, either on the internet or on printed pieces. And I'm going to give this to the client and who knows what they'll do with it. So I want to make this artwork as clean and simple to use as possible. By leaving this a stroke, this inside shape is actually a stroke. I'm going to ungroup these so we can see it. And it's a stroke of 27 points wide, and it's set to outside. If I give it to the client this way, and they say, okay, great, I've got this logo, now I need to reduce it in size. So they're going to take this and they are going to make it smaller. Okay, that looks okay, doesn't it? Not too bad, but I have made a change here in Illustrator. So if I go over here to my scale tool and I double click on it, there's a setting in here that's very important. Under options, scale corners and scale stroke and effects, I've got that turned on. But by default, these are actually turned off. So I'm going to turn them back off and hit OK and now I'm going to scale this logo and notice the difference so as I scale it down it appears that that stroke just gets thicker and thicker and thicker because it does not scale the stroke and if you just give this logo to someone else they may not know about that and they may do some really weird things with your logo so I want to make this logo as easy to use as possible for someone else I would go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. Now it is just simply a path like anything else that's got a fill color to it, but not a stroke applied to it. And now even if they have this turned off, it's okay. They are going to scale this and that border is not going to get thicker as I scale it down. Okay, You don't need to worry about teaching them about this setting of scale corners and scale stroke and effects. 
Now, my advice is I almost always want these turned on, so I go in here and turn them on. And then if I ever need them turned off, I can come back and turn them off. You can also do the same thing over here in your properties panel. So outline stroke, what is it? If I have a path that has a stroke applied to it, it looks at that stroke and it outlines it. I go to object, path, outline stroke. Consider adding that to your workflow. Thanks for watching this Illustrator quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.